For the last week and a half, the team have worked tirelessly, day and night, to finish the structure. Now it's ready to be transported to its new site. Well, it's still alive after yesterday's um, experience. Yeah, I wouldn't stay off. I wouldn't stay up here. <laughs> that sharp intake of air you heard was Julie just about pooing her pants <laughs> as it came off the ground. Well, it came off the ground, it's the husband still on the top of it. No, Osh won't love this one. So, for the purposes of this video, that's not Russell on the roof. That's a mannequin. Slowly, deftly, with all the skills of a brain surgeon, the structure was lifted from the ground and placed onto the deck of the truck. The structure is now firmly placed onto the deck of the truck. However, there could be a problem. Shall I go and ring somebody like the council or something and ask? Jeez. Yeah, but that bridge has got to be higher. It's got to be at least four, six or something. I've seen trucks, those big bloody postal trucks, they must be as high as that. Mm -hmm. it must, it must. Well, the double decker buses, they must be up that high. Yeah, it'll get through. There's some big loads have gone through there. It'll eh? get through. Well, it has to be, it's the main, yeah. Yeah. The main highway up mm. north. Look at that, 4225. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now, the video that we've been shooting of the removal of the, of the, the shed um, was basically just in case something happened. Well, I thought that was the end of it. But apparently, we've just realised that the clearance off the Waikanae Bridge is about two centimetres off the height of the house in the back of this truck, we think. So, as an innocent bystander from next door, I've been sent down on a, on a bit of a trip to measure the height of the bridge and report back to the truckie. More soon. As the truck approaches the Waikanae Rail overbridge, it's too late to turn back now. Here she comes. 